I was not born in the late 1940s with a blank canvas. My canvas was already all painted because I was a female, and so I was supposed to grow up, be a good girl, get married, have kids, and take care of the house. And I'm not sure if my canvas would have stayed that way for my whole life, um, except my mother died when I was 17 after a long illness. And I decided to heck with that canvas. <laughs> and it went into the trash can. So I pulled out a brand new one, except I filled it with splotches of huge red, angry color interspersed with grays and blacks of despair. And it lasted, I kept throwing that stuff on that canvas for the next 10 or more years until I met my second husband. I owe him a lot because he taught me um, that I could really paint a different canvas. And so I put that canvas down and started another one. He was building a house at the time, so I helped him build the house. And we decided that we wanted to be self-sufficient. So we started planting gardens. We had grape arbors and um, an orchard. So my canvas started filling up with colors of deep, loamy, mushroom compost and all colors of green growing things and nasturtiums and the colors of marigolds to take away the nasty bugs that get in the garden. And I loved that canvas and it grew and it just flowered. Until one day my husband said, you know, I am so burnt out at my career, we really need to do something different. So we took a few novice sailing courses in Annapolis and decided to buy a sailboat and go cruising across the ocean. And so I hung that self-sufficient garden canvas on the wall and picked up another one. So unfortunately, Early on, we discovered that when we got out in the ocean, my husband got terribly seasick. And so I decided, I ain't sailing this boat across the ocean by myself. <laughs> so, um, so we toned it down a bit, and so I started filling this new canvas with um, dark brown, tan and colored waters of North Carolina um, that moved into the beautiful azure blue and dark greens and blues of the Florida Keys. So we went up and down the intercoastal quite a few times. And those, that canvas started with the water and ended up with beautiful pinks and yellows and reds of sunrises and sunsets. And on top of that um, were boats. There were huge motor luxury boats down to little tiny 25 foot wooden homemade sailboats. And in those, all those boats were all these people that we became instant friends with. Sometimes a week in an anchorage, sometimes over one evening meal. But all those people started filling that canvas. And I loved that canvas too. But then my husband started having some heavy duty medical problems. So we had to take that canvas and put that one on the wall too. And I picked up another one. So for the last 20 years, my new canvas has been filled with people, mostly. I got reunited with all my siblings and their kids and their grandkids, my kids, now I have grandkids, my church family, 
and all kinds of other people from different groups that I've met. So I keep filling that canvas with more beautiful people. And I look at all these canvases that I have in my life. I'm not sure at this point how many more I'm going to have, at least one. Um, but I feel so blessed to have a whole gallery of canvases in my life. Thank you.